Ciao San Marino! My name is James and welcome to another Year Vision Reaction video with me. And today I'm going to do a review of the San Marini's Enter for the Year Vision Song Contest 2022, which will take place this May at Turin, Italy. So let's get to it and start reviewing. In what could be the, one of the most ambitious natural selection methods ever to be done in the history of the contest, San Marino decided to put out a week's a week long uh, national selection called Une Voce per San Marino, where they invited as much as forty acts to take part. About uh, mo more than a three quarters of all the acts were in the emerging artists competition where, where it took five days to whittle them down to a final set of competitors for their grand final and then they have another category uh, composed of established acts where they are automatically automatically qualified to take part in the grand final and that composition of established acts are quite notable for a lot of reasons and one of them being the eventual San Marinis representative for Eurovision which is Achille Lauro. He has won the San Marinis selection with the song Stripper and before anything else here's a look of his national final performance. Now, I am familiar with Achille Lauro for a couple of years now, having seen him perform as a participant in several editions of the San Remo Music Festival, which is Italy's national selection for Eurovision. In fact, he actually took part in this year's edition of the Italian Song Festival with another song, Domenica. Unfortunately, he didn't win because, he, because that contest was won by... Uh, Mahmoud and Blanco with their song Brividi. Now it's quite a shock for even for me that that someone like Achille would even entertain the thought of representing San Marino and yet here we are. Now as for the national per final performance it's quite interesting to say the least. I'm not sure if I'm uh, head over heels for it. It certainly is a very entertaining entry stripper given the nature of all uh, Achille Lauro performances that you have seen uh, at this point, you, you would never know what he would do. It's very unpredictable, which is more of his brand as a an, as an artist. It's a little glam rock. It's a little it's, it's a little flamboyant, but at the same time, it's very distinctively Achille with all of his entries being every like every bit of him split into multiple parts. If I don't know if you could understand what I'm trying to say, Hile is more is, a, is very random. I find him very random, and I see this as a as part and parcel of this multifaceted character that Akile Lauro is, and and which I really appreciate because I do love to see performers being very genuine and authentic to themselves, and to in order to be able to be true to their audience. Now, I'm not sure how this would fare in the contest, especially in a semi-final where Italy is not going to vote for their neighbor, especially if had they known that Achille is going to represent them, I uh, represent uh, their neighbor in that semi, they're not voting unfortunately, so th that already puts San Marino in a disadvantage. And in addition to that, not a lot of people outside Italy know of Achille, but I think that's going to be a good thing because they will be able to know him right from the start as the, as the as casual viewers will be able to see him uh, I think his brand of performance is something that I think would really stick out to them in a hopefully in a very positive positive uh, light although you never know how given the very unpredictable nature of this of this competition but nevertheless, I have 
uh, full, I have no doubt that San Marino will pull up all the stops to support Aquila in the best way they can given that they already spent a lot of time, money, and effort and resources in pulling off one of the most ambitious national selections ever. So why not do it on the same amount of that effort in putting up in pulling off a, a very a, re, a really memorable Eurovision stage performance so those were my thoughts let me know yours down in the comments below please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel for more Eurovision related content and more this is me James thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later ciao ciao bye bye Paalam.